Hi, I hope you are aware of the fact that concluding remark is the most important vital part of your answer for the simple reason that only after the conclusion the examiner gets some beep coming from his mind that they have to give him marks to that extent. So for that purpose it is very important that we do a beautiful conclusion. Quite often before writing conclusion you are in an absolute greed of uh, writing one more point or two more point which you remember and I think it is important. So what happens is as I always say, the pilot's skill is basically not in takeoff, not in flying, but a smooth landing. So as you take off, cruise, you must land it softly. If you're not landing it softly, you can possibly stretch your whatever cruising. You basically overshoot the runway and that's something which is a crash landing I don't want that to happen. Mostly people write good introduction, good body and then while the time of conclusion comes, which is they have to give actually the best shot they are mentally into the next question. That's not a good idea and I don't expect it to be happening. Please write one point less, but then ensure that you have written. Before writing the conclusion, the last paragraph of the answer, please look back at the question. There are occasions when you may have missed out some part of the question. So that's very important that it just takes a couple of seconds, maybe lesser, to go back to the underlying points of your question. And that's the way I would like you to handle. I suppose uh, uh, here what I am trying to say that for concluding remark it is important that you have got three components included. One component is that throw of the question. If the question is going in a particular direction, please move in that direction only. Throw of the question and then also I would say uh, theme of the topic should be basically reflected. Theme of the topic like let's say if I say you are writing about uh, cottage industry, then economy can be or industry can be a theme. Topic is of course, I start, I expect it to start on the topic, but when you conclude it, you conclude it on the theme, economy of the country. That was a bigger one, then in that this topic would be covered very obviously. And then most importantly, don't forget that who is writing this, the future bureaucrat of the country. So some, some kind of trace of your concern for the society, that should also be coming. So theme, throw and concern. If the topic is like what is the need of a particular thing then in that case go back. What are the benefits that you have got through his future. So you have and, 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 and then that becomes your throw. Theme is the bigger aspect of the topic. Like for example if you have got education then societal development is the theme. Education is the topic. Then concern is like well the ones which is provided in the constitution, the commitments of the constitution and the concern of the youth as such that is what I expect you to be having. So T, T, C, theme, throw and concern are the essential tools in your hand. You can use them for making a beautiful soft landing and a good marks much more than you would have otherwise got if you had not done it well. But I am sure you are going to practice it and get some beautiful concluding remarks for all the questions that you write. Thank you.